Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Wei Zhou. Uh, you can call me Joe because uh, my name is similar to Joe. And uh, I'm from Taiwan. I'm a computer science student, so I'm kind of a geek. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to talk about. Um, today I'm going to talk about some uh, special terms that are in the geek world. So, you, so yeah, get started. Get excited that you can involve in us. And um, I know several of you were see here in the last hour, so uh, you're kind of lucky that today you will hear a lot of the computer science stuff. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, uh, I'm, not I'm not a native speaker, so if you have problems, understand me, or if uh, you have any questions about my, st my topic, you please feel free to raise your hand and ask questions. Yeah, so let's get started. So uh, topic is open source. So what is open source? It's kind of hard for you to understand, but uh, let me use an analogy to you. So assume you have the secret recipe to make a soup. What can you do to make profit? The first way you can uh, open a restaurant and use the secret recipe to make some soup and make some money. But the other way is you can publish your recipe and also you can make some money. There are other people that believe that you can publish your recipe and they don't charge you money. And let's go back to computer science world. Uh, open source means you publish the uh, secret recipe and you don't make some money from, make, from publish your, your recipe. So basically, there are two kinds of software. The first one is called open source software, uh, which is our uh, main topic. The second one is called the proprietary, the uh, <laughs> uh, kind of for for me, software. Anyone have questions now? So, let's say the open source software means you publish your source code, which is like a recipe for a soup, to the public. And the first proprietary software, they will publish their software, but they will not tell you how the software is made. So, a very simple idea is that the Microsoft it belongs to uh, this, this category, the proprietary software. They sell you software, but they don't tell you how the software is made. Okay, so so that's good. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you some examples of the open source software and the different kinds of software. So for example, uh, this open source software, and here is the proprietary software. So what we have in the browser. Anyone have an idea of the browser? So the browser is like an internet explorer. So for example, this is the internet explorer. Okay. So for this part, the example is the Internet Explorer. Uh, so, what is the open source uh, kind of part? It is the, called Firefox. Firefox. But, uh, anyone use Mac? Yeah. Uh, do you know Safari? Uh, Safari. Safari, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is kind of uh, open source software because they publish the source code uh, partially. Not, not, not completely. Their interface is not uh, public, but uh, the code inside the processing is all is public. So how about the operating system? Uh, anyone have idea? Uh, here, please. Here. Okay. Is that like Microsoft? Uh, 
like what? Would that be like Microsoft? Yeah, so like what product? In Word? In Windows. Yeah, Windows, yeah, that's right. Windows. You genius. <coughs> so what do we have here? Anyone has an idea of uh, the open source compiler? Linux. Yeah, Linux. Great. Are you a science major? Um, I used to be a computer technology. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, besides Linux, what do we have? Anyone to guess? Uh, any guess of somewhere here? Uh, okay, I'll tell you the, the answer. The Mac. The, the Mac computer is partially open source. Uh, the, in the same way that the core is open source, but the interface, the fancy interface, is not public. So this is source code. This is the Linux. Uh, this is kind of different from what we used to have doing Windows. And this is the Mac. Yeah. Any questions so far? Okay, great. So, as a user, why do we choose to use open source software? What uh, we have, you know, what benefit do we have? Uh, it's quite simple. Uh, first, security. Um, because if the if the software does not public, uh, publish their source code, you have no idea what the functions they will have in the software. So for example, uh, anyone use Excel? Uh, Excel? Yeah, so what is Excel? Uh, what does Excel do? The Microsoft. Spreadsheets. What does it do? What, it, what does it do, yeah? It does fancy program to do anything. <laughs> so it means uh, spreadsheet, a subway, yeah. and do some, some kind of computing. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah, in some sense, they say the client is a spreadsheet software. But do you know that there's a hidden computer game inside Excel? You have no idea about that, right? <laughs> so, in the past, uh, in the older version, Excel 97 or Excel 2000, there used to be a computer game inside the software. And you have to press some special keys to, to activate that special function. Yeah, so, but, yeah. Is the game still in there? Um, if you can find the older version of Excel, it's still there, but uh, not today. So like Excel, uh, was it Vista? Or? So that's what I said, yeah. There, I think there's no games inside that software, but you can try. <laughs> How can I activate that game? What kind of key do I have to uh, <laughs> I couldn't remember. It's kind of uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you can find it. You can Google around it, and you can find the, oh, the procedures. So why do they do that? I, I think the programmers in the Microsoft believe it's kind of funny to make some special function in the software, but um, people will feel it's skeptical because you know the software that Microsoft produce is kind of slow and crappy, and they believe that these um, hidden functions are the reason the, the reason that the software are so crappy. So this, uh, I forgot to say that this hidden function is called the Easter eggs. Uh, I have no idea about the real Easter egg is, but I know that computer, there's a lot of Easter eggs in your computers right now. Uh, I, I can show some of them. Uh, do you want to see? Yeah. yeah. So to, to have that some kind of function, you have to type in so some special keys. No. Yeah, and uh, press F5. 